Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is a quick and easy Stairway to Heaven painting tutorial step by step. We'll be using an 11 by 14 primed stretched canvas. We'll be priming with orange and you can use any orange that you want. And I'm using a large flat brush here just to spread all that paint around. You want to completely cover the canvas. And then we're going to come in with an older cloth and take some of the paint off. I'm just going to take one of my old towels here and while the paint is still wet, I'm just going to lightly wipe away, creating little circles as I'm doing it. A few different tones all around the canvas some it's a little bit thicker and darker and in other areas you can see it's more see-through and you can see the canvas underneath and I've got one here light ultramarine blue by golden acrylics my favorite it's very complimentary with the orange and then we've got this brighter one light blue permanent we'll be using a little bit of white as well and I'm going to take the same brush just to make sure it's a little bit wet and I'm going to take a bit of each color and I'm just gonna start applying it. You can see underneath it looks, you can see a little bit of that orange. Let's just prevent that a little bit by taking some white. So I'm just crisscrossing and blocking in some areas here first before I come in with my details. So wherever you want to have your bright light, you'll leave little bits of that orange underpainting. And I'm going to come in with one of my soft mop brushes here. And I'm going to start to stumble around the edges. So I'm barely touching the canvas. Guys, so for the next step, this paint is still a little bit wet and I'm going to use one of my filbert brushes. Doesn't really matter what size you use. I've got a number four here. I'm getting it a little bit wet. And what I'm gonna do is come in and start taking off some of the paint and wiggling in for some shapes of my clouds. Okay, so I've got my another mop brush here. It's dry. I've got a big jar here. I'm just going to go dip right into my white, titanium white. And I'm going to start coming inside each of the clouds. Now some of this right here where I had a little bit of water dripping, it's a bit wet, but that's okay. We're going to create some mid-tones. You can also push and tap to create little tops to your clouds. Kind of the same way you would push and tap for foliage, for trees.
And then you can also, if you want a little bit more detail, you can come in with a small filbert or whatever size that you want and start adding soft little peaks. And then I just scumble out the rest somewhere. So you've got a combination of some areas that have a little bit more detail to them. And then you're balancing that out by scumbling in another area to create some softness. I'm going to take some more of my orange and white. And just make sure I have a little bit of water on my brush. And I'm going to mix both the colors together so I get this nice glowing peachy color. Twist and turn and then pull so that you're left with the paint on the tip of your brush. And barely touching, I'm just going to really wiggle here and go in and around. Creating a... Almost like they look like little branches. This is how you can create, or another way to create some glowing light in your paintings and your skies. Now the other thing that you can do if you really want to have some soft light and create a nice glow, you can take a flat brush with some water, some white. I like to tint my whites. Have enough water that you can easily pull a transparent sun ray out with and maybe right in here Seems like there's a lot of light coming from this area. A little bit more paint and water there. Line your brush up and pull. So you can gain quite a dramatic looking sky by doing this. Now for the next part of this video. I think that I want to add a little staircase in here. So I'm going to take a little bit of my burnt sienna here, a little bit of blue and white. A little bit more there. Right in here. I'll just add a little, little stairway to heaven. Take a little bit of my Sap green.
I'll just scumble a little bit off the edge there. And then I'll take my white with my orange. And just finish the tops of these stairs off. And they just sort of disappear off there, don't they? Okay, I'm just going to add a few more sun rays here. Well, this one's just lemon yellow cool, turquoise, neon yellow warm, neon pink. We've got our neon orange here, and I've got a uh, neon rose that I'll be creating uh, like my purple color with my blue that's still wet over here. And each time I add a layer, I'm going to use white. So I'll start right at the top there. I'm going to make red with a little bit of my neon orange over that pink. It's a very light, soft pastel shade. Next color. I took both of my yellows with white. Then I'm going to take white, a little bit of turquoise. There's a hint of that yellow left in there. I'm going to get that soft, pretty minty color. Okay, then I'm going to take white with my light blue permanent. The next color, I'm going to use my light ultramarine blue with a little bit of my neon rose. And each time I do this, I'm slightly going over the previous color. Now, I really like this color. I'm going to start adding a little bit of it here, just stumbling out of the paint, left in my brush, and then with a clean brush, just taking, blending it out, but also taking a little bit of it off. Okay, so there you guys have it. A uh, little simple stairway to heaven. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you want to paint along. I'll see you all soon next time in another video. Bye!